Hi guys, postman's bin, in fact it's been several times, I've just let these build up over the last week. Uh, what should we do first? I might do the, this one first because I know very much what it is. Um, it's another camera, another action camera. Bought it from Amazon. I'll tell you what it is in a minute, but the reason I bought it, you might know, I love these Evo DX action cameras that I bought last year. They're about a year old. Got two of them. That one's the first one I bought. Bought it last May. And it works absolutely fine. I liked it so much I bought this one. Uh, bought that from Seven Day Shop. They didn't have any stock when I wanted the second one, so I looked on Amazon and I bought this one on Amazon from Seven Day Shop because Amazon had stock that Seven Day Shop didn't have, if that makes sense. So got this one and fairly soon it played up a little bit. One of the batteries didn't work. So I didn't worry too much because they came with two batteries and so between the two of them I had four batteries so I carried on and then in the last few weeks this one has started playing up. Uh, bought that one in May 2018, bought this one in August the 1st 2018 so it's just under 12 months old and what happens is it just locks up. You start it filming, the red light stays on, you can't switch it off, normally you'd hold that button and switch it off or on. It might turn on, will it turn on? No, nope, it's not going to turn on. So that one's completely dead, I don't know if I've still got a battery in there. No, nope, there's no battery in there, that's why it won't turn on at the moment. Um, so yeah, that one has failed me, which is a shame, because as I say, I love them. Uh, they're relatively cheap, they were about, I can't remember, about £30 or something. So I'm going through the loop of seeing if I can get anything, get a replacement or anything from Seven Day Shop on that one. So we'll see, they've sent me the returns details. So you never know. They haven't got them in stock, they've probably stopped doing them anyway, so I don't think they'll be able to replace it. I have to remember to take the memory card out when we uh, send it back. Anyway, waffling a bit, but that's why I bought this one. Which is basically the same thing, but a different manufacturer. Uh, this one was actually £39.99. So about the same price. Apex cam this one's called. I won't actually set it up and try it out at the moment. We'll just have a sort of quick look inside. So it's come in a nice resealable plastic bag. It's in a nice case, Apex cam. I'm filming this upside down at the moment, which is going to confuse me. Uh, I've got the camera on the desk. So what have we got inside? Battery charger, which those ones didn't have. Remote control, those ones did have. Uh, couple of brackets, that's the um, one that fits onto an ordinary tripod like we're looking at at the moment. Another adapter, battery. It's actually in its waterproof case, which looks pretty well identical to that one. The battery for the remote, 
sticky backed bracket, uh, that one goes on your handlebars on your bike. A couple more brackets, a sort of belt type thing. Some double sided stickers for sticking the brackets on various places. Another belt thing. A USB lead. And instructions. So pretty much the same as they came with, only those didn't come with a nice little case which I doubt whether I'll use anyway, but... Alright, not going to be able to get all that back in there in one go. Let's just press the button to see if it's got any... if it's got the battery in it. No. I reckon there's supposed to be a second battery there. Let's open it and have a quick look. Let's see if it's got a battery in it. So I'm sure it's said it should have two batteries. Let's just press the button. Oh, definitely no charge in there. You can see it looks virtually identical, but then they all do, don't they now? I can't get that open. Yeah, batteries in there, so we have got two batteries, but that one obviously needs charging. Right, we'll put all that to one side. Probably knock it off the table in a minute. And we'll move on to what else we've got. Seven minutes in, and we've still got eight bags. Right, that feels pretty... Oh, that's going to be electrical connectors, I think. Classic toys. Hmm. Description of contents. Classic toys. Yep. Some rather short leads, aren't they? But I needed some of them. Uh, a couple of the quadcopters I seem to have picked up recently have those sort of connectors on them. So, connectors, nothing else in there. This one, expansion board module, it says. From the Philippines. Nothing else in there. This is one of those little kits, isn't it? Don't want to lose the bits, but we will have a little look. That's in a bag, that's okay then. Two of them. Got a chip. Surface mount. LEDs. I can't remember what that's for. I'll have to look that up. A couple of chips and a few LEDs. Chip is a CD4817. Oh, and a NE555. Timer. That's a tiny one. Yeah, I can't remember what they're for. I think they're just flashing lights, just little kits. Give me something to do when I'm bored. Or it's raining or something. That feels like a radio control transmitter and receiver. This will be AliExpress, I think. Yeah, because it's addressed to Grandad as an old man. Mm. 
think I've used Grandad as an old man on my AliExpress account. Right, okay, so we've got a controller there. This is a, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, 2.4 gigahertz controller. And receiver. Motor plus minus, but motor plus minus. So there's two motors. Off switch. Very lightweight. And something's rattling around in there. Well, that's what's rattling around in there, the screw for screwing the battery cover on. Okay, I thought I'd try that out as a replacement for some of these cheap radio control cars that I pick up, the 2.7, 2.7, 27 megahertz. See if we can do a simple upgrade to 2.4 gigahertz. So that's what that's about, I think. Okay, put that one back together. Right, that one, universal joint couplings. That's for doing my boats. Well, I suppose you could use them on cars as well. But I did buy them for the boats. Yep. I think they're they look like they're two millimeter to two millimeter. Okay. Nothing else in there. Customs de declaration micro DC stepper. Hmm. I think that's just the controller board, stepper motor driver board of some sort. wires there for a stepper motor, isn't there? Okay. I think somebody asked me a question about stepper motor drivers and when I was looking for an answer for them online I spotted this and I thought I'd order one for myself. It would have been fairly cheap. So we've got a It's got rust around the edges. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. That is rusty in there. In there. That's probably they've used some sort of flux to solder it and they haven't cleaned it off afterwards. That's a bit naughty. Never mind. So that's a stepper motor driver of some sort that I can't remember. If you look in the video description, what I don't do anymore, haven't done it for probably well over a year now, is I don't put a direct link in there for going on to eBay or anything like that. I just put, a, put the description that you can cut and paste into your search engine and that should find you the same item but maybe at a better price. I know what those two are, leave them till last. Oh, I know what this one is as well. Yeah, nothing very exciting, this one. Just a lipo guard bag. A red one. All the ones I got are grey. So. Yeah, just a charging bag. 
the lipos. And then finally these, yeah, equally unimportant, these are shopping bags. Uh, Yo Valley uh, yogurts and milk products. You can collect vouchers or yokens as they call them. And when you've got enough you can order things. I started collecting their vouchers or yokens years ago when they did a kite so that I could actually get the kite, which wasn't particularly good. If I remember, I'll put a link in the video description. It does actually fly, but it's not the best one. But they do these bags as well. Genuine eco bags made from recyclable NWPP. Uh, which I can't remember what that is, but that's some sort of plastic they've recycled. There we go, Yo Valley Family Farm. I can't rem remember how many yokens you need for these. But somehow I've managed to order two of them. It's supposed to be a limit of one per family or something, or one per person, but I must have double ordered, so I've got two of them. I use these for all sorts of things. They're good, solid bags. Uh, so there we go then. That's it. That's a whole load of post bags. So I've got a couple of bags, shopping bags, a lipo bag. 2.4 gigahertz transmitter receiver, universal couplings, two little kits that I can't remember what they're for. I think they're just flashing LEDs. So they've got a 555 timer and uh, whatever that other one was. CD4817 chip. Yeah, I expect they just flash. Some connectors, battery connectors, very short. stepper motor driver and a new camera to replace the one that's died. That's it. That was a long one, wasn't it? A long granddad's post bag. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.